Well, hello there, friends. It's Huey, and we're back for some more Baldur's Gate 3 in our adventures of Arnigal Fallen Song, the Half Orc Bard of the Dark and Mysterious Past. And in the last episode, we continued on uh, searching um, the. <clears throat> well, following the trail of dead bodies um, in the murder investigation. And this was after, of course, freeing um, Astarian from. Kazador Tsar, as well as 7,000 spawn, so, um, and they've been sent down into the Underdark. Will we encounter them again? I'm not sure, but, um, something tells me that, uh, we may well do, we may well, um, encounter them again, but, uh, yeah, the Gur weren't too happy about that, um, yeah, so, <laughs> but uh, we did, we did as I asked, and that was to kill Kazador. But uh, we're about to go and have a rest, and uh, let's go and sleep on this nice comfy bed here. Let's see. He's worth eight each. Grilled uh, rote ribs. Good pork belly. Let's uh, split those. And we use two of them. Let's have some cheese with it. A bit of sun melon. Uh, they're worth one each, so. Hmm. Do need some vegetables, so. Or fruits. How about some egg? And butter bun. Uh, with a bit of wine. That's a bit too much. And, uh, so, yeah, some wine. That'll do. Continue on our way. Yes, of course, there are uh, people who wish to speak with us. Oh, what's Shadowheart doing here? Uh, anyone want to speak with us? I don't think so. Yeah, but we did have the opportunity to do the dirty with uh, Mazora as well, which we turned her down. No. Nope. Um. Okay. Leave camp. I'll leave camp. Leave our room. You seen any gazetteers around? Need to see if the new edition's out yet. Perhaps the publisher could resign. Hmm. Wouldn't mind uh, checking that out myself. So I've got a mur murder target in Nesha, which is just down the way. And we're gonna see if this time we can manage to save her, or, at the very least, may maybe catch them, uh, the murderer at the same time, and uh, we're going the wrong way. Thought we were. So we're going to go this way, up the stairs. Oh, what? Hot, hot, hot! Did you see that? Incredible! What was that? Oh! Fire in the... oh, I tell you, what are the chances it's you? Forgive the mess. Your blood is far more volatile than I'd anticipated. Uh, <laughs> Our blood caused that explosion? It's a breakthrough in the sanguine arts, the likes of which the world has never seen. 
The Grand Matriarch will have no choice but to restore House of Blodra after I present her with my research. But listen to me, rabbiting on about myself when I have you, the prize bleeder, on my very doorstep. If you'd come inside, we could discuss something far more exciting than drow politics. Alright, drow politics is pretty interesting. Um, I'm curious. <laughs> uh, it may be the death of me, but... <sighs> Why not? Yes. That is, do follow me. Seems a little bit too excited. Clothes. Oh, Crimson Draft's hatch key. I'm gonna grab that. Oh, you've been caught in the act. Oops. So much for the perfect crime. I'll drop the item. What was taken is free to be reclaimed, and you are free to go. Oh, goodness me. Oops. Seems like a good moment to talk. A cozy little spot, isn't it? These four walls have witnessed greater alchemical triumphs than the keep of Erngath Durand. And now that you're here, the crown jewel of my research is soon to be faceted. All you have to do is drink Formula Gruner. What the hell is that? <clears throat> Formula Gruner? Well, yes. Formulae Arku through Fruag were spectacular failures. But Gruner... Gruner is different. Believe me. <laughs> hmm. What will this formula do? When you first entered this home, you saw the incredible latent power within your blood exposed in all its nuances. Formula Gruner will unleash that power within you. Risky, but, um, safe. Uh, what? That's an oxymoron. <laughs> I can probably handle a little fire, but I'm not sure about the rest of you. Uh, I won't be drinking any mysterious formulas today, thanks. Not even for the betterment of the alchemical arts the realm over. Not even for that. Alright, hand it over. Why not? Oh, marvellous. I've never been so excited for anything in all my days. Just stand over there, far over there, and drink up. Mysterious potion. Okay. Uh, mysterious. We have a mysterious artifact. We have a mysterious potion. That's wonderful damage. Screw it. Let's drink it. Explosive. How long does this last? Oh. Alright, they're all... <laughs> You seem surprised. Had you expected me to die? I'd hypothesized you wouldn't, my friend. And you've proven me absolutely correct. 
You are the world's first detonative exsanguinator. To put it simply, from this day on, your blood goes boom. Big boom. <laughs> it's incredible. All it needs is a spark. Oh. Is this going to kill me? Certainly not. But it might do damage to anyone who makes you bleed without your express permission. Oh, that's handy, actually. That seems quite powerful. Thank you. I assure you, the pleasure is entirely, entirely mine. This research will skyrocket House of Blodra back to the forefront of drow scientific thought. Indeed, it could protect my line for generations. Now, let me offer you a little treat. In exchange for the teensiest vial of your marvelous blood, I'll give you something that'll really throw your enemies for a loop. I'll only ask a nominal fee in exchange. Nominal fee, huh? Okay, why not? You really are a fine collaborator. Alright, what do we got here? Circlet of Hunting. Hunter's Eye, you gain one die four bonus to attack rolls against creatures marked by Hunter's Mark, True Strike, Fairy Fire, and Guiding Bolt. That's actually not too bad. The one we've got is Circlet of Blasting, which is. Has been handy. No ring of free action. You ignore the effects of difficult terrain and cannot be paralyzed or restrained. That's actually really good. That's actually really, really good. Uh, I'm not sure about this ring of mind shielding because, like, it's supposed to completely block me off from uh, the absolute, but anyway. Graceful cloth. No, I don't need that. Uh, huh. Oh, potions of supreme healing. I could do with those. All right. Let's um. Wait, where to go? There it is. Yeah. Uh, how much are they? 122, yep. And I'm going to buy some more of these as well. And let's see. I mean, it's handy. It's not really necessary for my character, but... Uh, will she buy this? Yeah, Black Diamond. You can have that. You can have these two. I don't know what I'll be using using them for, but Topaz. Yeah, I have a painting. I really do. Yeah, this is a good opportunity to get rid of a lot of this stuff. Uh Stellman's portrait. Um The Emperor might get pissed off about that, but I don't care. some more stuff too, I think. <clears throat> Do I need these stuff bears? Oh, I don't know. A heart. Huh. I really should send a lot of this stuff to camp, or at least decorate uh, my room with it. Oh, a lot of this has got to go away. Uh, yeah. So that's a lot of that sold. Uh, Cast my chance bonus action. 
strength saving crews, and it's got telekinesis, which is actually really, really handy. That's what it's, um... Quick spell gloves. Luminous gloves. When the wearer deals radiant damage, receive one turn of radiating orb. Right, what is that? Affected enemy has minus one to attack rolls per remaining turn. Oh, so that's why... Okay, so that's why they kept missing her during the fight against Kazador. That's actually really good. Uh, while concentrating on the spell, the wearer, uh, the wearer's weapon attacks deal an additional one to four psychic damage. Um, risky ring, you gain advantage on attack rolls and receive disadvantage on saving throws. Eh, no. Some of those are quite handy. The sentient amulet, I really should be doing something with those, but the helmet of grit. There's even an additional bonus action. You know what? Uh, oh, it's light armor. That's right. We can't wear that. Carla. The mask of the shapeshifter is doesn't count as any kind of armor, but it looks kind of stupid. So <laughs> uh, whenever you deal poison damage, the target needs to succeed at a constitution saving throw or become poisoned. Mm, no. Nah. Placing retaliation, what is that? And they take one to f six fire damage. Uh, nah. It's a lot of stuff I just I want to hold on to for some reason. <laughs> uh, this one I'm going to sell. I do need a better greatsword for her. Haste for spore grenade. Oh, okay. Hastens creatures within. Alright. No, frost prints. No. Icarus gloves. Oh, she hasn't got enough money left. Okay. I'll have to, uh... I don't know, maybe buy something? Do I need these? Uh, probably not. <clears throat> I'm thinking about this one, but... Bring a free action. I've got Mage's Friend. You know, I think... I think I'm going to buy it. And that'll do. Until next time. Okay. So I'm gonna get rid of Vengeance Saving Throws versus Charm. It's not that good. It's really not. Um but we'll put this one on, ring of free action. Yep. Okay. City's going to shit. Now I'm gonna drink this. Nah, actually I'm not. A okay. little more work on my name, and House of Blodger will be restored. There we go. That'll do. Well, that was certainly interesting. That's um. Yeah, don't vomit in front of me, please. A little more work on my notes. All right. Uh, so Neshka. Hmm. 
<laughs> Excuse me, folks. Oh, what do we got? Drink up. Belly up to the bar. We have mead, beer, and wine. Gold won't quench your thirst. Get yourself a mug of joy. Yes, I can see. Uh, see, he's very joyous, lying on the ground there. Ah, oh, here we go. Nisha, Nisha, Leisha. My friend dared me to come here alone for a couple of mugs of ale. So here I am. Why would they dare you to? Okay. Listen, you should make yourself scarce. There's a killer on the loose, and you're a target. Huh. Come on, mate. Who would want me dead? Master, <laughs> I do time to time. <laughs> Please listen to me. Others have died. Uh, others have died already, and you're in danger. Um, okay, guidance. I'm not going to use because I got to use up some some of this inspiration, so I'm not going to use um, advantage. Just in case, no. Nah, but we passed it anyway. Oh shit! You're serious. I can see it in your eyes. I've got to, shit. I've got a tab to settle. Shit. I hope she's safe. That's curious. That's curious. Oh. We found a dirt mound. Uh can't reach it. Why? Oh, there we go. Ooh, mine. Hey, I found it. Uh we've got I think we've got another murder target. Across the way, nice. The High Harbor. Speak to Nine Fingers Green at the Guild Hall. And murder target Figaro. Figaro, right. So, we gotta speak to Nine Fingers. Hag support group post or what? Attention, have you been hexed by a hag? Lost a loved one to a deal? You're not alone. Join other survivors of hag treachery at Baron's Coop. Alone we are vulnerable, but together we can stand up against hags. Okay. Lord Enver uh, Gortash, the people's man, the gate's protector. Alright. So, we've got to speak. At the guild hall. All oh, right, so we're gonna enter the the hall here. This looks like uh, nope. Where's the goddamn guild hall? Wait, what's in the mailbox? For some reason, we can go through people's mail, and it's no problem. Uh, wish me luck, old man. Uncle, you may have retired from the fist, but your influence lives on. Today, your favourite nephew finally got his long overdue promotion to Gauntlet. Meet me this evening at the Singing Lute, and we'll host, hoist a few, a few in celebration while we watch the sun go down beyond the sea tower. And don't worry, old man, I'll make sure you get home before your bedtime. Bilbo. Uh, okay. Double doors. Enter those for whom justice and truth are thine guiding lights. 
Um, okay. Sure. Made with a duster. There's a hatch. I don't know what's in that little building there, but what's upstairs? Oh, hello. That's another chat. twice the kills you did at that age. He knows the seven major arteries, the blind spots, everything. That mind flare is done for. Flare? Where? Everywhere. The city is infested. I've been monitoring them for some months now. They're planning something. Something big. Goldbraith Stredivas, Mind Flare Hunter. My son is tracking one of the beasts as we speak. Mind flayers are dangerous. He should stay away from them. You don't know my boy. He's twice the hunter I am and the best son a man could ask for. I'd be by his side, but an illithid trap left me retired. Permanently. My son has taken up the mantle. He fights tooth and nail every single day. I only pray it's enough. That I've done enough. <clears throat> um, you've done your part. Let us take it from here. We know how to deal with them. It is rare to meet someone who doesn't fear mind flares. You remind me of an old friend, a hero of his time. Here, he gifted me this. Call it thanks for setting me at ease. They won't win, you know. The mind flares. Not with my son fighting the good fight. And you. Abdul's trusted shield. Let's see. Uh, let's I'll sort these again. Protection from missiles. Pretty good. I'm not proficient with shields, though. Let's send that to Karlak. It's a nice shield, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, yes, and I was going to send a lot of these books. Uh, we'll just send them to camp. Yeah, some light reading. Camp. How many of these body parts do we manage to? All right, so we haven't got all of them. We got three, three of them. Okay. All right. on the hatch. I'm, I'm curious. Uh -huh. Oh, what's... Let's move. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, I should probably sneak. Yeah, let's hide. Oh, that's... that's difficult. I don't know, I'll give it a go. Oh, wow. <laughs> what do we got? Just 
a cellar. Oh, a stone wall. What's he got hidden behind there? Okay. Ah, yes, sent camp. Sorry, old man, but we're stealing your stuff. You can keep your shoes though. So I'm so nice. Oh, you spotted something. Ooh, yum. Oh, lots of goodies here. Uh, chain shirt, don't need it. <coughs> you can keep that. I uh, need these though. Anyway, uh, yeah, give me them. Keep your shoes comfortable. Autumn, autumn, autumnal outfit. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, nah. Best avoid that trap. Oh sh. Right. It's 15. I think I'm going to need... No, I'll just go with Guidance. And as I said, I do have Inspiration, so... Uh, I think we did it, yeah. He's got a staff, light crossbow, plus one. Alright, let's try and disarm this one. <clears throat> there must be more traps over here. is warranted here. Yeah, thank you. Oh, God. Well, uh, this luck's got to run out at some point. Just in case. Let's disarm that. Bing! Stuff. Looks cool though. Oh god, this this guy is paranoid. Wonder why. Holy crap. <laughs> Here, which I don't want. No. <clears throat> Let's lock pick this. Oh, this is gonna be tough. And that's a fail. You can always tell by that noise. Uh, yeah, but we've got inspiration here, so. That's another fail. I guess we can use we can use one more. And it's another fail. Wow. 
I can't complain. We had all those successes before, so let's try use um, thieves tools instead. And it's a ding. I heard the ding, so that means it's a pass. Finally unlocked. Hill giant finger pick. Okay, so there's a lot of good stuff here for making various bits and bobs. Wooden chest. Something tells me there's a trap around. So I should disarm this. of a duke. Oh, that's rough to read. Perhaps because he rose from humble beginnings before becoming a duke of Baldur's Gate, um, Abdul Adrian made a habit of donning a hooded cloak and roaming his city's streets incognito, observing the citizenry and taking the pulse of the town, as he used to put it. It was on one of these urban excursions that I first met him, at an outside table on the Elf Song's terrace when we both summoned the same server and ended up, ended up buying each other's ales. We struck up a conversation, and upon finding that I was an adventurer, my new friend uh, plied me with questions about my trade as a monster hunter. He soon let slip that he once followed the adventurer's trade, and thereafter we regularly uh, we met reg regularly to share a mug or two and talk tales and tactics. It was some ten days later before I re realised my... Interlocuta was none other than the Grand City, uh, than the city's Grand Duke. By which time we were already past friends, so I wasn't overawed at sharing a table with him. This followed. This is followed by a rambling account of Galbraith's history with Duke Adrian, consisting primarily of a list of what stories Galbraith told the Duke about himself. I would hate to deprive him of that, but I'm gonna take these <laughs> and. Uh, See what else we can. What other traps we can check? Oh, how to track an elithid. Handwritten tome documenting various tried and tested ways to track mind flares and the results of each endeavour. Okay. You gonna tell us some of those results or no? Uh, a lot of fail perception checks there. Which has me worried. On psionic manipulations and countermeasures. Oh, there's a button. And a button. What's that do? I, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Oh, wait. Does that dis. Oh, maybe it disarms the traps. I don't know. But, anyway. A thorough account of how best to protect your mind from illithid manipulation and subsequent domination. When dealing with mind flayers, remember it is in their nature to assess the utility, strengths and weaknesses of those around them, and to manipulate in order to get what they want. The best countermeasure you can take against a mind flayer is to simply avoid it. Any attempts to outsmart it will fail. If that is not an option, then there are three things to remember that may sa just save your mind. Number one, pay attention to its actions, not, it, not its words. Where mind flayers are concerned, it is true that actions speak louder than words, especially words that are tailor spoken to fit a mind flayer's manipulative agenda. 2. Strengthen your relationship with others. The greatest thing you can do to offset a mind flayer's designs upon you is to have allies, strong allies. Trust in those you know you can trust, and build your relationships with them. They are the ones who will have your back when you most need it. 3. Even mind flayers have wants and desires. The only circumstances in which a relationship with a mind flayer may be beneficial to you is if you both want exactly the same thing. In the unlikely case that, uh, that this is true, bear in mind that once you have outlived your purpose to a mind flayer, it will have no use for you. Of course, and we discovered that in early in Act 1. 
Or did we? No, we didn't. But I have seen it, yeah. <laughs> and I have uh, experienced that in previous playthroughs in early access. So, The True and Impossible Adventures of Tenebrae Morrow, Volume 4. So, an excerpt from The True and Impossible Adventures of Tenebrae Morrow, Pulp... Uh, wait, hang on. Oh, no. Pulp serial following the real-life exploits of an interplanar ship's captain, the real Captain Morrow is never... No, never to have left her native water deep and emerges from her rooms at the yawning portal only to exchange scrawled manuscripts for fresh meals and ink. And I think we'd already read that. No, it's volume four. Sorry, we haven't read that. Uh, it is quite the feeling to fall forever. Of course, fall does not exactly describe it, nor indeed does fly. Each patch of sky in the elemental plane of air is bound by no laws but its own. <coughs> Excuse me. Rending petty, petty attempts at direction or definition meaningless. It is exactly this ferocious freedom that t makes a plunge through the internal, eternal blue the only way I've learned to truly relax. You seem distracted, observed Errols, Errols, I don't know, shouting uh, to be heard over the howling wind. That goblin could so easily, easily pierce my inscrutable facade with no... With, uh, hang on. That the goblin could so easily <laughs> pierce my inscrutable facade was no surprise uh, to me, for she is a sage of considerable wisdom, and a lifelong friend to boot. I am, I acknowledged, expertly adjusting my posture to avoid uh, drinking ara drifting aracoc avoid a drifting aracocraness. Lord Primus was uh, forewarned of my contact to infiltrate his mind palace. I had to leave my entire crew on Mechanus just to escape alive. I could sense her frown beneath the bleached bone skull that eternally obscured her face. It was an eff affectation of her monastic order, and just one of the many things I had never truly understood about her. All perished? Surely the traitor was among them. Perished? Oh no, I traded them. Lord Primus wished to study mortal mannerisms, and he was most forth forthcoming with the identity of my betrayer in return. I reached out across the divide and slipped from, slipped from her finger uh, the ring of command. With the loss of the magical item, she instantly ceased to fly and began to fall in earnest. A subtle distinction, but an important one. Her screams were already lost to the whipping wind by the time the new bride loomed into view. I climbed aboard, weighing the ring in my palm. The exact twin was nestled upon my finger, forged by Errol's uh, many moons ago as a symbol of our undying friendship. Worry not, dear reader. She is still my friend still. And it is my fu it is fully my intention to return and catch her. Someday. God. <clears throat> Alright, well, let's send that to camp. So we can complete our collection there. Let's get an anthology of goblin poetry. Okay, one. I once met a wizard in Tamar who went and corrected me grammar. He said I can't, can't cast no spell till I enunciate well, so I beat him to death with a hammer. <laughs> Dude, what do we got here, boys? Huh? Book of Poems, he says. Privy roll more like. Three. You know how poems make you feel stuff? Well, this one, one time I was a-dreaming. About this ogre, right? And he was huge, ran straight at me, and I gave him the biggest kick to the nadges. <laughs> Woke up smiling, I did. Is that a poem or no? <laughs> uh, it's quite entertaining. And thank you, Larian. Uh, soul coins. So I think we've already got that, but I'm gonna. Uh... Yeah, I have read it, so we'll leave that there. Oh, scroll speak with dead. That might come in handy. Alright, what do we got over this side? Oh, a trap. Uh, yeah, a bonus, sure. Wow, barely enough. But it'll do. Nope. Wind crate. 
I need those. Thieves tools. And another trap. Uh oh. Damn it. Okay. I can try again. I wonder how long it was going to be before I roll the one. Uh, oh, what's that? Wooden barrel. That's everything. All right. Let's uh, let's get out of here. That was quite the good haul. All right. So a lot of role playing, and we did uh, discover the uh, insane drow lady from before. And I think that will be enough for this episode. So I hope you enjoyed that, folks. And we hope to see you next time. If you are enjoying the videos, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe. If you want to receive notifications of when each video drops, uh, hit that bell icon. Incidentally, they drop at uh, 7 p.m. Australian Eastern Brisbane time. Uh, that's UTC plus 10 for everyone else. And, of course, don't forget to comment. I love hearing from you. And it also helps a great deal. Anyway, that's enough for me. And until next time, take it easy. Bye for now.